<laughs> nice. Hey guys, welcome back to Beyond Seclusion. I am always looking for the perfect optic, the one that has the most versatility balanced with cost that you can use in the most variety of situations. I absolutely love red dots. You follow my channel, I love red dots. I put them on all my pistols, anything for CQB. The problem is, is they do have some limitations as far as, I mean, they're, they're ideal for, you know, CQB 50, 100, you know, maybe even 200 yards. The problem is, is once you get out past 200 yards, red dots start to, to get a little bit more difficult. And also, as some of us age and the vision needs adjusting, we can't do that with a red dot, you know, and some of you may notice uh, that dot blurs or becomes multiple dots or sort of a little hash and so you know what other option is there so this is where prism optics come in like the primary arms acss cyclops now what is a prism optic a prism is a fixed power and the big thing is etched glass so not like the red dot this is etched on there so regardless if there's power no power doesn't matter whatever is etched on there you know the chevron the bdc the crosshairs it's always there unless your optic is totally smashed and the glass is broken out now the problem with the prismatic optics is they're typically powered you know most common is three to five which I think is great for 200, 100, 300, 400. The problem is, is when I'm up close, you know, CQB 10 yards, even 25 yards, a three power, it's not going to be very quick. Okay. I'm not going to be able to move from target to target to target. And that's where I really like the Cyclops. The Cyclops is a one power in fact um and i'm sure there's other others out there it's the only one power that i'm aware of which is why i was really anxious to test and review this because for cq C, cqb with both eyes open okay i've got both my eyes open and it works just like a red dot Now this has the illuminated reticle, which I left on here, but it's still got, oh yeah, still got plenty of juice and it's been on since yesterday. So there's, it's got good battery life. Even when we forget to turn it off is it's super easy with both eyes open. And because it's a one power, I can toss a magnifier on here. And now it's like having a scope. I can reach out easily two, 300 yards, even 400 yards. So this particular setup, you know, with the Cyclops, the one power, I have an Athlon on here. I've got a separate review on that. It fits just perfect. Didn't have to do anything, lines up straight up and awesome sight picture. And then I can just flip this out of the way super quick for both eyes open. Is this going to be the perfect setup? Well, we're going to have to shoot and see. What I have this mounted on is my PSA 300 Blackout with a 7.5 inch barrel. This is not the muzzle brake that it came with. This is for putting my can on it. You'll see that in the vid. Uh, yeah, 300 with subsonic rounds is just an absolute blast, especially at CQC back in the trees, banging away on steel at different distances. Okay, before we go any further, let's just do a quick specs and tech on the Cyclops. So 
So the specs and tech looks good. It's promising. The only thing that I have found that I don't like or would change is the auto on off or timed. It's held up great because that's, I forget all the time. You know, I put stuff away um, and then I often come back to dead battery. So for me, because I just, I have CRS and I'm forgetting all the time, auto on and, you know, different places call it different things, shake awake or motion activated. Um, that would absolutely take it over the top looking at specs and tech. But let's go ahead and take this off before I waste any money on ammo and let's torture test it. I did zero it at 50 here. just because I had to and have some fun. So I'm gonna take it off, I'm gonna to torture test it, and I'm gonna put it back on, and we'll see how it does with a torture test. Well, I made a hard hit. Functions good after the drop test. Good and cooked. Still on, doesn't appear any leakages. Let's freeze it. Even after the torture test, I put it right back on. So at the same spot, and I grabbed some federal and that was the group that I got with it it's pretty good for taking it off dropping it putting it in the hot tub and freezing it and sticking it right back on I'm happy with that okay real quick here I want to show you what the etching looks like here this is perfect for CQB what you have in here is a range finder and don't mistake this with a BDC. This is not to be used for points of aiming other than deciding the height at the distance. Okay, enough talking. Let's do some shooting. What I want to do is I want to take this out at different distances, 100, 200, 300, with, without the magnifier. I've got a Athlon Midas five times magnifier on here. You can check out the review on that. It lines up perfect. Anyway, I'm going to show you the sight picture at all these different distances with and without magnification so that you you will know exactly what it's going to look like um, when you get this mounted and are looking through it and am I hitting anything with it Nice. No magnification.
Hey guys, if you like this video, if you follow Beyond Seclusion, help support Beyond Seclusion, it is really easy. All you got to do is go to our webpage, use these links anytime you go to these to buy anything. That helps support Beyond Seclusion. The other one is our Amazon page. That's a huge one. I've got my crazy stupid deals there, optics, anything that I can find on Amazon, I put there. And if you go in through this link, anything that you purchase on Amazon helps support Beyond Seclusion. The other one is is my Patriot t-shirts and my swag. These are now available on Tandem Cross. Check them out. All this helps support Beyond Seclusion. The easiest way to use the links in the Amazon is simply save them as bookmarks. And anytime you go to Amazon or you go to Cabela's or any of these, just click on that link and anything that you get helps support Beyond Seclusion. Guys, I couldn't do it without your help. Thank you. Nice, 300 yards, that is super easy. <laughs> nice. Okay, so now that I've had some time to play with this, I do like it, I really like it. Um, so much so that you know, it makes me question my love of the red dots. I just, I love the idea that I don't have to have any batteries, any power, because if that illuminator goes off, I still have got an awesome sight picture. And with the illuminator and the adjustable focus for my eyes, um, yeah, uh, I, I got to really think about it. I would love to try their SLX 3x32 Gen 3 specifically for the 300 Blackout, but they've also got one for the 556 um, and the 762. I would love to try those as well. Anyway, guys, I hope you found this helpful. Be sure to like, comment, and sub. Until next time, happy shooting and be safe.